terms of incident response itself, I think it's important that the roles and responsibilities of every person on the team, both the security team and not, clearly understands what they have to execute in terms of repeatable processes when the determination is made that you've got an advanced threat actor or not in your infrastructure. The second piece is uh, the establishment of playbooks and regularly exercising those playbooks. And again, I think that's a, that's a concise playbook. It's not a large 25-page standard operating procedure, but it's something that's short and sweet that everybody can clearly jump on and understand what they need to execute in a time of crisis, and you need to exercise those things regularly. The last piece, I would say, is a communications plan. So everyone needs to understand um, both if you get queries from outside the organization, if you get queries from business partners, from customers, if you need to communicate to senior management, you need to define in advance what and how you're going to communicate about the incident uh, because you've got the potential for significant reputational risk, you've got regulatory requirements, so you want to make sure that you're very clear with your messaging. Uh, one of the things I always tell my team uh, for incident response and any other action that we're taking is you really need to know five things. What happened? What's the significance of what happened? Who needs to know about it? What are you doing about it? And what's the status of what you're doing about it? And those things need to be encapsulated in your communications plan that you come up with.